This is a quick supplemental episode to the Hello World episode and is to address two things. Firstly, the size of the text. I had a few people complaining they couldn't really read it on their screens. So I will make sure in the future to make the text quite a bit bigger. I hope that that size works for you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you want it a little bit bigger or smaller. And the second thing that people were saying is they were having some problems getting code onto their ESP32s. Now, I'm running the uh, the code on a separate PC just for this tutorial. And I don't have the problem on that, as you saw in the last video. But I have seen the problem before on my ESP8266s and on some of my ESP32s on my main machine. And there's a quick fix for it from my side. I know a lot of people are putting in fixes like, you know, attaching a capacitor, cross pins and things like that. The fix that I have is, well, well, first, let me show you what the problem is. If I try and send this to my ESP32, this is on my main PC right now. So I'm going to send this off to the ESP32 and you should see the error. We'll see if it happens. So it says this connecting, this shouldn't take so long. This is basically trying to negotiate a connection between the ESP32 and my PC. And if it times out, it should do. It'll show the error that's occurring. So there we go, an error occurred and a fatal error occurred, cannot connect to the ESP32. So I can do this again and it will have exactly the same error. I'll speed it up so we can see it quickly. So that's just to show you that the error is occurring each time. Now, the fix for this is pretty easy. I will send this across again and you'll see what I'm gonna do. I've got the ESP32 over here. All you need to do when it starts trying to connect, when you see it connecting, this button over here, we're gonna hold that down until this starts writing. Let it go and it should write to the device. And there you go. So that's quick fix. Uh, you shouldn't have to do more than that. If you are still having problems, let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely look into it and see if uh, I can come up with anything else. But it should be as simple as that. Just the button labeled boot over there. You just hold that down until it starts sending the data across and then you can let it go and you should be fine.